Welcome back. Before proceeding to the next section of this course, we're going to dive deep again into routes. So we're going to see how you can create private folders inside of the app folder, how you can group your routes without affecting the URL, and at the end, how you can catch all segments up to dynamic routes. So let's see this. Go with Sloba. So let's first cover private folders. Let's say that in your app folder, you want to create another folder. And as we already know, whatever folder you create, it's going to create a new route for you. Let's say that you want to create a CSS folder or folder for components. And the way how you can do this is just create a new folder and the naming convention should be underscore CSS. This way, new route is not going to be created and you can store whatever you want inside of this folder. So let's say that you have a dashboard and you want to have contact and users page. You don't want a URL to be dashboard slash users and dashboard slash contacts, but you want them to be grouped in the same dashboard. So how you can do this is once again in the app folder, let's create a new folder and let's name it as a dashboard and make sure to add the parentheses because this is the key naming convention. So inside of the dashboard, let's create a new folder and let's name this as users. And inside of the users, let's create a page.js. So let's just create a function inside of this file, R-A-F-C-E. And I'm just going to name this as users page. And now if you go to our application in the browser, if you go to slash users, we're going to see that we get to the users page. And we're omitting this dashboard in the URL. And if you go to the dashboard slash users, we're going to get 404 or not found because this part of the URL is being omitted. And the last thing that I wanted to discuss is, let's say that inside of these users, you wanna have a dynamic route. So let's create a new folder and name it as ID. As you already discussed in the previous tutorial, this is dynamic route. So let's create a page.js and let's create another quick component, RAFCE, and let's name this as a single user page. And in the previous tutorial, we have seen that we can access the params from properties. So let's access the params and let's just log it here. Console log params. And now let's navigate to this page. So let's remove the dashboard, users slash one. And if we open up the terminal, we should see the ID of one, which is dynamic route. So let's say that after this route, you're gonna have some dynamic routes as well. Maybe you have an edit, or some more IDs, depending on what you wanna perform. If you do this now, you're gonna get the 404 or not found. But what we can do here is we can catch all these segments and catch them in the params. To do this, we just need to destructure this dynamic ID. So what we can do is we can just rename this, add three dots, and now just catch in the URL here in the terminal, we can see that we are getting all these different pieces as dynamic properties. So as you can see, I have entered edit ASD or whatever you write in here, test. You can see that all of these route segments are getting cached and you're not getting 404. So this is how you catch all the segments after your dynamic route. Another thing that you can do is you can also catch the routes from the parent. So how this works? Let's first remove the page.js from the users. And as we already know, this is gonna remove the page from the users. So users page is not gonna exist anymore. And if you go to the users, and click we're gonna get 404 because this route doesn't exist so how can we catch this inside of our dynamic route so what we need to do is we need to go and change the naming convention once again so let's rename this dynamic route and instead of having the single square brackets we want to have the doubles and if we refresh our page we can see that we are using single users page even though we are on the slash users url here but if you check your terminal you can see that we have lost all the routes because the route parameters that we are catching are on the different route and if you want to support my channel and get a full source code of every single video that I'm doing, feel free to check out patreon.com code with Sloba to get full access. See you there. Well, that's all for this video. And thanks for stopping by. And don't forget to subscribe. Code with Sloba. Thank you for watching the entire video. To see more videos like this, click here.